सुनया नि सयो मैं दिया जहान विच सुनया नि सयो The advent of the promised Messiah alayhi salam was prophesied to take place at a time when the world was to go through major changes The world was transforming materialistically but at the same time a great spiritual revolution was in the making 1835 Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad alayhi salam born in Qadian to Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Murtaza and Hazrat Chirag Bibi he is born a twin a twin sister Jannat Bibi is born shortly before him and dies a few days later. His birth fulfills the prophecy of Hazrat Ibn Arbi rahimahullah ta'ala about the Mahdi being born a twin. 1864 Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad alayhi salam receives a government post as a reader at the Sialkot court by his father. He maintains an exemplary character throughout his time there and regularly engages in religious dialogue with Christian missionaries. 1876. His father, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Murtaza, passes away. Upon his demise, Allah the Almighty consoles him, revealing, "Is not Allah sufficient for his servant?" He engraves this revelation onto a ring. which he wears regularly 1880 The promised Messiah alayhi salam publishes parts 1 and 2 of Brahine Ahmadiyya It is received with outstanding praise and is hailed as a masterpiece It is this book which is to be instrumental in revitalizing Islam in the latter days in accordance with the grand prophecy of the holy prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam 1882 Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad alayhi salam receives revelations from God Almighty which declares him mujaddid or reformer of the latter days it is published in Brahine Ahmadiyya part 3 the words of the revelation are as follows Allah bless thee o ahmad it was not thou who didst throw but it was Allah who did throw The most gracious one has taught thee the Quran so that thou shouldst warn the people whose ancestors have not been warned and that the way of the guilty ones might become manifest proclaim i have been commissioned and i am the first of the believers Eighteen 1883 Construction of Masjid Mubarak in Qadian is completed 1884 He marries Hazrat Saida Nusrat Jahan Begum radhiyallahu ta'ala anha daughter of Hazrat Mir Nasir Nawab radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu in Delhi This marriage is a fulfillment of the prophecy of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in which he stated that the Messiah would marry and have children The birth of each of his children from Hazrat Amma Jan is foretold by divine revelation. On February the 20th, 1886, the prophecy about Muslim Maud, the promised reformer, is published. God Almighty foretells the birth of an extraordinary son who will be endowed with heavenly attributes. That son will be a sign of the mercy and glory of God the Exalted. and through him islam will progress throughout the world this prophecy is later fulfilled in the person of hazrat mirza bashiruddin mahmud ahmad khalifatu masih the second radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu december the 1st 1888 sabz ishtihar he publishes an announcement Hakani Takrir Bar Waqia Wafat Bashir clarifying that the prophecy of the promised son would be fulfilled within a period of 9 years. He also announces that God has commanded him to establish a jamaat and begin taking bath. 
the Pledge of Allegiance. And this announcement came to be known as Sabz Ishtihar, the Green Announcement, because it was originally published on green paper. March the 23rd, 1889, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad alayhi salam establishes Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, takes the first bath in Ludhiana. Forty people pledge allegiance to him, and the foundation of Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat is thus laid. The establishment of this community of the latter days is a fulfillment of the prophecies of the Holy Quran and the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This Jamaat is to bring about the final victory of Islam throughout the world. And, on the 12th of January, announces the ten conditions of the Bayat and the birth of his promised son, Hazrat Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmud Ahmed, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, Muslim Maud. 1891 Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, alayhi salam, announces death of Jesus, alayhi salam, on the basis of divine revelations and declares that he is the promised Messiah. The words of the revelations are, Messiah, son of Mary, messenger of Allah, has died and you have come in his spirit. December 27th, the first Jalsa Salana, held in Qadian and 75 members of the Jamaat attend. The promised Messiah, Allah Salam, announces that there will be a three-day convention every year from December 27 to 29. 1893 The birth of his son, Hazrat Mirza Bashir Ahmed, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu. March 21st, 1894 Lunar eclipse on the 13th of Ramadan, a sign for the Mahdi, and on the 6th of April, solar eclipse on the 28th of Ramadan. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam prophesied that the lunar and solar eclipse in the month of Ramadan would be a sign of the Mahdi's advent. This natural phenomenon occurred exactly as the Holy Prophet وسلم, had foretold, signaling the appearance of the Imam Mahdi. 1896, December 27 to 29, the philosophy of the teachings of Islam, the conference of world religions takes place in Lahore where the Promised Messiah salam, presents a masterful essay, The Philosophy of the Teachings of Islam. He is foretold prior to the conference. The paper has been declared supreme. Events unfold exactly according to this divine decree. June of 1899 the Promised Messiah salam, is photographed for the first time. Three pictures are taken in total. A full-sized photo and two photos with his companions. And on the 14th of June, the birth of his son, Hazrat Mirza Mubarak Ahmed, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu. April the 11th, 1900. Khutbah al Hamia. At the occasion of Eid al Adha, the Promised Messiah delivers a sermon in Arabic, which is directly a revelation from God Almighty. It is later published in book form as Khutbah al Hamia, the revealed sermon. And on June the 7th, Prohibition of Jihad by the Sword, publishing a leaflet containing a poem of 55 lines declaring that jihad with the sword is no longer applicable. 1901 Hazrat Mulvi Abdul Rahman anhu, of Kabul is martyred. This is the first martyrdom in Jamaat Ahmadiyya. November the 20th The phonograph is brought to Qadian and the Promised Messiah alayhi salam, writes a poem which is recorded and replayed to the Hindus as a form of tabligh. And 
the promised Messiah, alayhi salam, issues a challenge to John Alexander Dowie, an Australian-American evangelist and an enemy of Islam. The challenge states that both the promised Messiah, alayhi salam, and Dawi should pray to God that of us two, whoever is the liar may perish first. March the 13th, 1903. Foundation for Minaret al Masih is laid. The minaret is to be built in order to literally fulfill a prophecy of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the Messiah would descend next to a white minaret. Metaphorically, the prophecy means that in his time, the truth of Islam would tower above all other faiths. And on the 14th of July, martyrdom of Hazrat Sahib Zadar Abdul Latif in Kabul, Afghanistan. The 3rd of September, 1904, the Promised Messiah, alayhi salam, publishes Lecture Lahore and Lecture Sialkot, containing a comparative study of Islam, Hinduism and Christianity. The 5th of December, The Will The Promised Messiah, alayhi salam, discloses to the Jamaat in al wasiyat that his demise is near and establishes the system of wasiyat in Bahishti Makbara and forms Sadr Anjuman Ahmadiyya. 1906 A Department of Religious Studies within Madrasa Talimul Islam The purpose of this is to produce true scholars of faith in the Jamaat. This department grows into Madrasa Ahmadiyya and then becomes Jamia Ahmadiyya, an institution of religious education with branches all over the world. On the 9th of March, 1907, death of John Alexander Dawi. Dawi's death fulfills the prophecy of the promised Messiah, alayhi salam, that Dawi will depart from this world with great sorrow and pain during my lifetime. 1908, the promised Messiah, alayhi salam, embarks on his final journey from Qadian to Lahore. And on the 20th of May, the Promised Messiah alayhi salam, receives a revelation about his demise. It is time. It is time to march. Again, it is time to march. And death is near. He has been receiving revelations regarding his imminent demise with great force for the past three years. On the 25th of May, during his travels to Lahore, Hazrat Masihimad alayhi salam, wrote his last book entitled Beirame Sullo or Message of Reconciliation. This book was addressed to Hindus and Muslims to patch up their quarrels and sign a formal pact to tolerate one another and enjoy the benefits of unity and peace. He said, Mutual respect could bring the people closer. On the 26th of May, the Promised Messiah, alayhi salam, passes away at approximately 10.30 a.m. His final words are, O oh Allah, O oh my beloved Allah, O oh Allah, O oh my beloved Allah, O oh Allah, O oh my beloved Allah. And on the 27th of May, the establishment of Khilafat, Hazrat Mawlana Hakim Nuruddin, is appointed Khalifatul Masih I as the first successor of the Promised Messiah alayhi salam. And the Janazah prayer is led by Khalifatul Masih I, Razi Allah Anhu. The Promised Messiah's blessed body was brought back from Lahore to Qadian to be laid to rest in Bahishti Makbara. On this day, khilafat e Ahmadiyya was established. It is a blessing that will remain with the Jamaat till the end of time. <laughs> <laughs>